Hi, this is a tutorial on Anywhere by Passenger. I'm going to show you the electrical guitar part and the acoustic guitar part. If you're just interested in the acoustic guitar part, you can just click here. So the electrical guitar part is pretty hard to play, it's pretty fast, but the shapes aren't that hard. So if you just practice, I'm sure we'll get it down. It's played on a clean amp setting with a slapback delay. And the slapback delay is just a short delay, one delay, so no feedback or a little feedback. And a short delay time of 200 milliseconds. So the intro is played with a little bit African style guitar playing using just uh, three chords, a G, a C and a D, but uh, spiced up a little bit. So we slide up the first note on the D string, the fourth string from fret seven to fret nine with your ring finger. You have to use your ring finger. That's your first note from seven to nine. You don't have to hit it again, just one hit for two notes. And then we go to fret seven on the G string. B string and now we got a G chord with our finger the G triad it's just yeah the G chord so the high G rings out and then you go back up again so that's our first little thing on G and then we go to a D chord, and the uh, D chord is very close to this one, it's just that chord. So what I do, I fret my index finger, bar, on uh, string two, three and four. And that's a D, try it. And you play it two times with a staccato feel. That's our first bar. And then one, tra one transition note. You play the nine again while sliding down to the next bar because the next bar starts at fret four to a C triad. We slide from fret four on the D string up to fret five. And then we bar our index finger on the fourth, the third, and the second string. So the D, the G, and the B string. So you slide it, and then you go down to the third and the second string again. The second string rings out a little bit, and then you go back up. And then we played our C chord. Very good. And now we go back to the G again with the same slide from earlier on. So from seven to nine. And then we play the G chord whole triad and then you end on the D triad. So and then you play one note again, the seven, and then you come back with your ring finger again for the second uh, part, the third bar. This is exactly the same, but the G chord is a different voicing. We go to the first string, fret seven. So you have to bar your index finger all the way from the third string to the first string. And then you play the first string and the second string. The second string plays the middle finger, uh, the eighth fret again. And then you end on the D string again. Back to the D triad from earlier on, and back to the G like we did, and then just the same ending from before, and that's the guitar part, the electrical guitar part of this song. It's a very nice, catchy theme, and I hope you will get it down. So now off to the acoustic guitar. So there are three acoustic guitar parts in this song: the verse, the chorus, and a little bridge. All the chords are played with open chords, so it's not that hard. The first chord is G chord. And you have to play the G chord like this. Middle finger on the third fret on the sixth string. Index finger on the second fret on the fifth. The fourth and the third are open. And on the bottom two strings, you play fret three with your ring finger and your pinky. You have to play it like this. 
because the other chords are using the same fingerings. So in the first bar there are only two chords, the G, the D, and the G again. So now to the strumming pattern, that's the most difficult thing about the acoustic guitar part. So on the first G chord, the first two counts, the first two beats, you play down, down, up, up, down. And it's pretty quick. Down, down, up, up, down. So it's down, down, up, up, down. And then you change the D, and the D is played two times down. Down, down. So. And then you switch back to G, and you play the G once. Down. So that's the first bar. One more time slowly. Down, down, up. Up, down, 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 down. Seems like an ending, but we're gonna continue to the second bar, which starts on the C at nine. And this is a very easy transition from the G to C at nine. It's just moving your middle finger and index finger one string downwards. And then you have to omit the sixth string because we don't need a low E in the bottom. Okay, and then the same strumming pattern occurs with different chords. A C at 9, and then an E minor 7, and the E minor 7 is just played like this. Again, the two strings, the first and the second, played with our pinky and our ring finger, and our index finger and middle finger both play the second fret on the fifth and the fourth, so the D and the A string two times and then back to D. So it sounds like this, the second bar. And what I do when I play the E minor 7, when I switch to the D, I get my thumb over the edge of the neck. And I do this so I can mute the low E string and the A string. The A string isn't that bad if it rings through a D chord because it's in the chord. But you can mute it as well. But we really don't need the low E string. So when I change from E minor 7 to D, I just pull my thumb just over the edge so the E string stops ringing. And that is the progression played in the entire verse as well as during the electrical guitar theme. So I'm gonna play it for you guys one more time. Played in real time. That's the verse. So now to the chorus, and the chorus is a little bit difficult because some chords start on the upstroke instead of just a downstroke. So where we change the chords is a little bit difficult. The chorus starts on the C at nine. The chord from the verse, remember? So and what we do, we play the C chord two times down. And then we change to E minor seven. E minor 7 gets up, up, down, down. Yeah, so up, up, down, down. So from C to E minor. C, C. Yeah, so we change in the upstroke. And then the next bar is D and G. So D is two times again, just like the C in the first bar. And G is up, up, down, and then you go to D as the last chord. So it's the same strumming pattern as the first bar, but with one added chord at the end. So it's uh, so it's D, D, G, 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 D, 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 and G, 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 D. So down. 
So the first two bars sound like this. You repeat that twice and then there is a C at 9 and a G instead of an E minor 7. So, C. so just remember easy transition. Same strumming pattern and then to a B7. Wow. So the B7 isn't that hard. Fret 2 on the A string. Fret 1 on the D string, fret 2 on the G string, an open B string, and fret 2 on the low E string, the high E string. Excuse me. That's a B7. So the B7 is after the G. So from C, G, B7, and the B7 is played. The strumming pattern is exactly the same. Down, down, just two times down. down, down. And then E minor 7, up, up, down, and then to D. So that bar is like this. B7, E minor, D. Yeah? And then it's the fourth line of the chorus, and the fourth line is a C, just one bar. And then one time a D. And then there's a break. The chorus doesn't end the same way the next time, so you just keep playing the D chord instead of playing the break. Okay, so that's the chorus. I'm gonna play the chorus one time in total for you. So that's the chorus. And then there is a little bridge where the brass uh, theme plays, the, um, the horn section. E minor 7, a kind of B minor, a C at 9 and a D. And the strumming pattern is the same as in the chorus. So it's very easy to play the B minor. Um, you can play a bar E minor which sounds very good in the song, but I think the acoustic guitar plays it like this. So from E minor, you just put your middle finger instead of on the D string, on the G string. So you just uh, switch it down one string. Yeah. And remember, I'm playing the same strumming pattern as in the chorus. And then to the C at 9. And then to D. And that's the bridge in total. And that is everything there is played in the song. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel because more awesome videos will be coming. Have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.